Hey guys, Tebow2 here, back with another episode of Dalek Mod Survival. I am joined by absolutely nobody today, which uh, is fine. Um, so yeah. Last episode we got our TARDIS and I believe made that farm and did some work on the spaceship. Need to be careful because there are mobs outside. Um, another thing I want to do at one point is customize my TARDIS slightly because, I don't know, not huge on the default design. I do like how it's not technically a canon interior used in the show, so it's a little bit personal in that aspect, but I mean, I don't know, still would be cool to kind of give my own design choices, I guess. And I also need, is there one in here? No. <laughs> Literally nowhere is there a um, fuel bank, so yeah, I'll have to look into getting one of those, because if I run out of fuel, I'm a little bit screwed. Uh, more than a little bit. Hey, I have a flight panel. I forgot whether I had a flight panel, but this is going to be really nice for exploring the overworld. Let's look at my crops. Ooh, my crops are doing nicely. Better go and handle those later on. Uh, there's a zombie trying to get me down there. Let's look at the spaceship. Spaceship's still doing okay, all things considered. Uh, so yeah, what was I going to do in the overworld? If I remember right, I wanted to go to uh, just set some waypoints in places. So I don't... Uh, no, that's not the uh, community island, I don't believe. I did want to find that though and set up a... This is the community island, okay set up a um, thing here. Is this community island? Whose house uh, is this? Uh, whose house is this? I honestly don't remember. Might be Alex's house, I think. Um, but anyway, this should be the community island, I believe, so... I can just write, like, community island question mark. Uh, anyway, so let's set a waypoint. That's not a waypoint, this is a waypoint. Community Island. Community Izzel. Okay, close enough. <laughs> uh, so now where am I gonna go? Well, I was hoping to go to a place that I actually have no idea where it is. I think it's back this way. Is um DT-10's Mesa Biome. I believe it was around this direction, I think. Because uh, I had to go there off-screen before Episode 3 to help out with the missing TARDIS case. <clears throat> I guess you'd call it that. Uh, ooh, this is a good place to be to look for some exposed ores, so... be a nice place to land, I guess. <clears throat> Let's just walk out briefly. Mine a few ores, and that's all I'll do here. So look at this. Zyton ore, I believe. Yep. I think. Anyway. Uh, lots of coal. That is very nice. I will grab one vein of coal. Just one. Okay, there's my vein of coal. Let's see what else is here. I won't grab any others. Ooh, skeleton loot. Might be nice for that uh, bow from earlier. Ooh, even more Zyton ore. See, I like these little stone things with the exposed ores. They are very useful, as you can imagine. Steel. Oh, wait, I need an iron pick for this, I believe. Uh, steel's pretty nice. Useful in a lot of recipes, I believe, so... This will come greatly in handy, hopefully. I should probably set up like a chest in the TARDIS so I can put some stuff. But, you know, I have some hesitations. If I lose the TARDIS, I'll lose uh, important stuff. I mean, I could just put like, some stuff in there. Why not get some food while we're here? 
Lana, yeah. you don't drop food and you sound weird, so I'll ignore you. Um, any other ores I should know about? I think that's another uh, steel ore over there. Do, 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 do. There. <laughs> that was a lot of walking for just one single steel ore, but uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll just do a little more walking for a moment here, and then we will be off on our way. As to where we're going, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the Mesa biome. I might want to go there next. Uh, that is a skeleton potential danger, but I'm not going to face it, so we're all good. Just remember kids, facing your danger, er, no, just remember kids, facing your fear is dangerous. <laughs> That's a good lesson. Anyhow, let us go to a, no, okay, yeah. We're going to go to uh, the Mesa biome now. Where? is the Mesa Biome. I cannot say that I really remember where the Mesa Biome is. A village. Um, is there a blacksmith? I don't think so. Am I crazy or is there not a blacksmith? I don't think there's a blacksmith. Um, well, I can, I can set a waypoint and steal the crops. So those are some positives. Um, points. Okay, time to steal your crops. Am I sorry about stealing your crops? Not particularly. Take some of these seeds too, I guess. Beet roots, those will go nicely on my own farm. Do I hear a zombie? There are a lot of zombies. Sounds like they're right underneath here. That's dangerous. Potatoes. Very nice. Nice to grow some potatoes. Some more beetroots. Uh, beetroots aren't a great food, so that's annoying, but, uh, you know, it'll probably be fine. You, what do you want to trade? Expensive, I don't have meat to trade. All those zombies. Um, you're a fisherman. What are you? Are you a farmer? Please be a farmer. Nope. <laughs> you are not a farmer. Um, farmer, farmer, farmer. Are you a farmer? No. You're a fisherman. If I had a farmer, I could just sell your own uh, crops back to you. That would be nice. But uh, no farmers, which is weird. Leather worker might come in handy if I had leather, but I don't. You're a farmer, perfect. I am gonna trade your stuff right back to you and profit off of it. No, don't try to swindle me. <laughs> Very nice, I'm a genius. Okay, let's get every crop imaginable and then you will be able to even greater profit off these people. Seriously, what is up with these zombies? They're just hanging out underneath this village, I guess. Maybe there's like a dungeon. That would be cool to raid the dungeon. It's not every day that I see dungeons, honestly. Is the pig gonna try to follow me? Uh, speaking of pigs, I just had an idea. Um, so what I... Yeah, what I not only could do, but should do, is lead some mobs into the TARDIS, some animals, so that I can breed them. I'm curious what is going on there. Did the sheep go in? I think it went in. Yeah, good job, sheep. You've accomplished your only goal in life, which is to be my sheep. Pig, you go in there too. Good job. Okay, I need some more pigs. Right after I steal these pigs, there it is. And I'll 
that as I hit these crops, the audio levels are probably jarring, which is problematic. I need to get a headset really badly, but uh, I'll do that in the future at some point. Okay, come here, sheep. Come with me. You know what? Your friends can come with me, too. All of you sheeps are now mine, and you cows. Cows. All of you come with me. I have this massive tribe of animals now. Don't think you'd call it a tribe, but whatever. For our purposes, we're going to call it a tribe. Tribe of animals, come here. Follow me. I am your leader. Follow me. I am your leader. Please. Yeah, when you have to plead with them to follow you, you're not probably a very good leader. Hello? Okay. I guess these two are good enough for now. Hello? Are you going to follow me? Hello? Sheep, no! Yeah, the TARDIS key might have actually been useful at this point, but uh, that's okay. I really don't have an extra one. Maybe I can get an extra one at some point. There we are. Got some animals inside there. Very nice. Yeah, a couple more. Sheep, and I need another cow, that's for certain, or else that other cow is going to be completely useless. Come here, cow. Up here. Up you go. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. <laughs> uh, and I probably can't plant anything else. No, of course I can't. But, uh, that's okay. I'll plant more stuff another time, I guess. So yeah, now that that's all good. Put the seeds back. We do not need those at this point. Um, we do need some of these potatoes, though, to lure the pigs to their pen. Uh, yeah, let's just get some cobblestone. And is that all of my cobblestone? Uh, that is all of my cobblestone. Wow. So I'm definitely going to have to do some mining before long. Um... That was slightly surprising, though. Okay, um... I need to make it kind of like the... <clears throat> other farm with the gate. But, uh... I didn't get any wood, so I can't really do that. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I may just have to do that the old-fashioned way. Um... Or... You know what might be smart? Can I do that? I can do that. I just had an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna need shears now. What I can do to get into the pen that I'm gonna build is I could just make a um, carpet, because for whatever reason mobs uh, don't seem to think they can jump on top of a carpet when it's on top of one of these uh, pens, which is interesting, but uh, yeah, we'll just do something like that, and then, okay, that's pretty much all we can do. So what if I were to extend this out by one? This might still work, extending it out. Yeah, that sort of worked. <laughs> um, and now I need to go back in here. Grab some of my mobs, but also uh, shear the sheep. And now that I think about it, I am stupid. Um, I built this thing on top of um, stone, where there's not any grass for the sheep to regrow their wool. So I'm going to have to move this. Hopefully. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. something like this will it look okay or will it just look like crap 
<laughs> um, I don't know. It doesn't really add much, I guess, but it's fine. There. That's as good as it's going to get for now. Um, place some torches down here, because why not? One in the middle. There. I don't think that's terrible so far. Uh, so I'm going to head back and grab those animals now. Hello. You're all still here, which is good. Um, sheeps, I need your wool for a carpet real quick. Thank you. Just going to borrow it. Um, I won't give it back because that's not possible. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, you go out the door and you come here. Go out that door. Go out the door. Thank you. Funny how it closes the door when mobs go out of the TARDIS, but not in the TARDIS. Okay. Speaking of mobs going out of the TARDIS, um, yeah, I saw DT10's episode 4 where he tried to move some mobs, and the same thing happened to him, so I should have known better than to do that. Um, silly me. Um, yeah, if Swood Team watches this, please patch that bug. I don't know what happened there, but I don't like it. You know, whatever floats your boat. Oh, here we are. All these animals that are still here, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, let's just go to somewhere that's safe, preferably. The nether is not safe. <laughs> the end... The end would be sort of fine if I had a force field panel, which I do not. Because as DT showed in his video, um... Yeah, it's nice when you want to kill some endermen to just have the force field. I don't want to go to the end. <laughs> um, Varos would be fine. It's technically safe and it has some okay ores on it. Um, really just okay, though. So, I don't know if that's really worth visiting. The moon, Scaro, not very safe. Trenzalore, eh. I mean, kind of safe. It's got a bunch of mobs on it, generally, but... Uh, might be some loot. Gallifrey, that might be a good place to go. wonder how much uh, fuel I have. How can I check that? Uh, no. Okay, 99%. That's not bad. Let's go to the coordinates of the uh, Citadel, see if that's here. It might be. Or Undoubtedly, somebody's already looted it. A lot of people had TARDISes way before I did on this server. Um, here we are on Gallifrey. There's the Citadel. The fact that it's already loaded um, tells me that somebody's already been here, because that thing usually takes several minutes to load, so... Uh, you know what? I'll set a waypoint here, because why not? Citadel. Very nice. <laughs> All these just overworld animals being brought with me. Kind of funny. Um, you know what? I'm going to cut down one of these trees. At least I might. They're really big. Uh, head over to the citadel, I guess. I'm going to get some of this dirt because I think that's useful in the elixir of life recipe. Which is how you get regeneration, which would be very cool. Okay, I probably should have brought my shears because I could have gotten some of that... Uh, those leaves, which I believe are also useful in there. Okay, food was a problem, and now we have these Thana plants, which drop these weird little apple things, the Thana. So, that comes in handy. Um, obviously these logs are going to come in handy. They're not even logs, really, because they just have the wood texture on all sides for some reason. Not sure why they did that, but that's okay. <laughs> um... I like the build. Nice job, Swood Team. How do I get up to the uh, top? Okay, here we go. Perfect. Uh, or not. Did they take the ladders? Okay, whoever was here took the ladders. That is um, <laughs> mildly hilarious. Kind of. Distressing, obviously, but uh, whatever. They probably already looted everything anyhow. Um... Yeah, I keep forgetting about my face cam and just getting really close to the camera. So, I guess just ignore that. If any of you are, like, 
weirded out. Um, okay, yeah, this thing got glitchy because of the uh, slabs. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, the weapons room. I don't know if there are actually any weapons in here. There might be like one or two. Chances are they're already looted, so... Any weapons that are in here are probably looted. This is probably supposed to be the moment. They need to replace that with the actual moment. Can I literally not get any of these chests? Guess not. Ooh, Time Lord Stazer. Ooh, dropped it. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I'm surprised nobody took that. I mean, I guess if they wanted it, I might be willing to give it away. Because, yeah, you know, crafting the guns isn't really too hard in the Dalek mod. <gasps> Food machines, yes! These are kind of useful and pretty overpowered, technically, because, um, well, for a few reasons. I'll take this monitor, too, for decorational purposes. Somebody's probably been here. Okay, I don't need another time rotor. That would be a little weird. Um, let's head into the next room. I just want to explore, maybe take some stuff where I can. Uh, do I want these light boxes? Probably not. Nothing else really cool in here. <laughs> yeah, people are definitely coming in here and taking stuff. I like those roundels. There just aren't enough of them to make an actual wall out of it. Um, yeah, neat stuff in here. This is, I believe, from uh, Hellbent, I think. Was that episode called Hellbent? I think so. Should I take this lamppost? I guess I will. I don't know how much I'm going to need it. Uh might just look nice somewhere, which is basically the whole reason I took it. Um, what is up with that block? I don't know. Uh, a lot of ways to explore in here. Should I take a chair? Ooh, those break instantly. I do like that chair. Um, you know what? I will take this too. I shouldn't take everything just because, you know, the others might eventually come here to get some decorations and find that they've all been stolen. Oh yeah, this is from the end of time, that's cool. Um, so yeah, probably not a whole lot more exploring to do. This place, any of the good loot's probably already taken, which is fine. But, uh, yeah. So I could come here, I guess, if I needed, uh, bookshelves, which I might need bookshelves in the future for enchantment tables and stuff like that. And luckily there's so many that I doubt anybody on the whole server is going to run out of bookshelves if they just took them from here. So, uh, that's nice. And I cannot, um, summon the TARDIS in here. Because I don't have my key, which is fine. But, uh, you know, obviously I am going to need, um, to head back out soon and get back to the TARDIS. Okay, these are some okay looking chairs. I won't take any. I don't need them. And I believe this is roughly where I came in, so I might as well go out. Okay, I could go down here though. And I believe there's a bunch of mob spawners down here, which might get dangerous. I don't know. What is that? No, just a random spot, I guess. Um, okay, down here there are these um, entity manipulators. These are really cool, because they'll let you like uh, place down these entity looking blocks that can look like anything. Arrows, very useful. Oh, no, 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 no. See what I mean? I told you we'd have to get out of here sooner or later and later. It's just a wither skeleton. It can't get me, can it? No, it can't. I'll kill it. Why not? Could be worth a try. And literally all I got was bones. Um, yeah, I'm not exploring there anymore because I don't want to die. Okay, oh! <laughs> right there in my face. Here we go. Perfect. Now I can go back to the base temporarily. Or I could try to find that, um other thing, the, uh, the shed thing from Day of the Doctor, but somebody's probably already been there. In fact, somebody has already been there. I remember somebody talking about having the moment, so where should I go next? Classic 
nothing really in class, I guess. They're, I mean, they're Silurians, but they're not. Or no, Sea Devils. Uh, they're not useful, really. Um, Ours, Vortis. Vortis might be good. Mondas. I could go to Mondas. I'll just go back to uh, home, put away my stuff, and then I. Uh, I might just have to call it a day for the episode, I guess. This has been my Dalek Mod Survival Episode 4, in which I did a uh, teeny bit of exploration. Um, and, yeah. Tried to make an animal farm, kind of didn't work. You know what I should do, though? I should make a mob farm like what DT has. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anyhow, that's it for this episode. Next time, probably a mob farm. Probably um, customizing my TARDIS. Maybe some mining. Stuff like that, basically. I still need to find DT's Mesa, too. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all for this episode. I have been Tebow 2 Follow my Instagram, tebow 2 yt and if you'd like, join my brand new Discord server. Link is in the video, well, the video in which I actually um, announced the server. <laughs> um, so yeah, join that if you'd like. Follow my Instagram, Tebow2YT. Um, and be sure to subscribe if you'd like. That is all. Goodbye.